Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a Rengoku Book Listener by me. So let's get into it. Jealousy was a normal thing in every relationship. That didn't mean that it was very usual to see with Rengoku. It was very rare to see him get emotional or jealous over anything. And it was not particularly bad, but it was simply a little bit shocking and unusual of him. For the most part, you never really expected him to have a strong reaction when it came to you being with someone else. And he was pretty open when it came to most things, so you have no idea what spiked that. But you were also interested, and you found it rather adorable that he was reacting so strongly. But, as you were also curious, you didn't want him to be so upset and so jealous. However, you also wondered why he was not communicating clearly with you. He seemed to be hesitant, but it was not like you were clueless. You knew he was upset, and you knew he was jealous, and it was just a matter of time until he told you. He could not avoid that matter forever. So you were really just debating on whether or not you go talk to him and make this all end sooner, rather than later. However, you just wanted to give him some time and see if he would come talk to you on his own. And it did work, because after a couple of moments of you talking with your dear friend, well, he's just about had enough. He goes over to you and holds your hand. Moyan, please. Could we just have a few moments to ourselves? He says. And you're not used to him being so formal. Or so serious. About something that seems relatively fine and easy to just pass by. But you can tell from the amount of seriousness there is. That this really means a lot to him. And you cannot ignore it. So you don't. Instead, you nod and go with him, holding his hand gently in your own. What is it, Ringaku? I don't understand. Is something wrong? You seem a little bit upset. That's true. And that's because I am. I am upset. And I'm worried. You're not really... <sighs> I'm sorry to say this. I don't want to seem like I'm overreacting, but I guess I am. I am upset about something, and I really hope you consider it, he said, and it was the first time you've ever seen him be so nervous. It was something you've never actually experienced, and so you held his hand, gave it a squeeze, and sat down with him. Okay, Rengaku, tell me, what's going on? You don't need to be so nervous about this. Whatever you're feeling, it's probably normal. So, no need to be anxious. He smiles at that. He was not shy or nervous or anything but this feeling within him. It felt unusual and bad. And he never wanted to be a source of negativity or anything like that for you. You see, I... I feel truly jealous, Ryan. I don't know how to deal with it. I don't want to burden you with that feeling. But truly, I've been unable to remove it from my heart. I don't know how to deal with it. It's difficult, and it's made things difficult for me too. So I guess what I'm saying is, I really hope that maybe you just try to stay away from that guy for a while. I'm uncomfortable watching you too. Hmm. I see, and why is that? Am I doing something wrong? Or is it just a feeling? You're not doing anything wrong. But it's the way he's looking at you. I'm not blind. And neither are you. I'm sure you can see it. And you couldn't. Not really, but you will trust him. So, 
instead of arguing or anything like that, you just hug them and nod it. I understand how you're feeling, and I'll try my best, okay? Just give me five minutes and then I'll leave him, and then we can talk about this further. You say, and he's more than happy about that. You're understanding, and you're really gentle with him, and that's all he could really ever ask for. He doesn't want more than that from you. He just wants you to be able to love him and take care of him and listen to him when he needs it. And he's willing to do more than that for you too. So once it's all over and you go home, he's a bit more clingy and that's fine. It's perfectly fine. And you even cuddle him a little bit, wrapping your arms around him. And pulling him close to you. Thank you, Rangaku, for telling me how you're feeling. I knew you were upset and jealous, but I didn't want to stop doing what I was doing until I felt like I had to. Jealousy is normal, but I'm glad that you were able to confront me about it. I was wondering if my guess was right, and I guess it was. So, I'm just proud of you, that's all. He chuckles. Holding you close. I know you are. But really, when did I ever hide anything from you? He says, and you find yourself chuckling. Because in truth, he never really hid anything from you. He's just not the type to do that. And you shake your head. I don't know. But I guess I expected you to tell me about this one. And I'm glad that you did. So... As a reward, how about I stay at your place tonight? You say, you are not really staying in the same place, not yet. But right now, since you seem to be extra clingy and you just wanted to spend some time with him, to make it up to him at all, it really felt like the perfect deal. And what could he do but smile and nod and pull you close? I would love that. Come on. I'll prepare something for you to eat. And you go rest, okay, my dear? He says. And you are more than happy about it. You love his food. His voice. His beautiful arms. And you would certainly love to spend the night. Just to see that beautiful smile on his face.